What's going on YouTube, AK Hobby coming back at you again. Today we are going to do the Twilight Zone Archives 2020 edition. Um, is this uh, written, written House? Yes, it is Written House Archives. Um, kind of what you're chasing here is a uh, William Shatner kind of booklet auto, I believe, and Rod Sterling uh, dual auto booklet auto, I think is what you chase in here. But you do get two autos per box. Uh, I believe they're inscribed, or at least one inscribed. So let's get into this. I have not done any Twilight Zone before. Um, so we'll uh, see what this is all about. Uh, I'm not sure how many like parallel number cards will be in here. This is box 2989 out of 6500. So they are numbered boxes. So let's see what the Twilight Zone has to offer here. All right. And empty box. Let's give our little, uh, if I can get this back in. Give ourselves a little, little room here and let's get this going here. Pack number one. Here's what we're looking at. Um, there are no odds on the box. No odds on the pack anywhere. So I'm just going, going into this unboxing blind. Again, never done Twilight Zone. Let's see what we got. That kind of a poster card there, Twilight Zone, created by Rod Sterling, written by Charles Beaumont. A uh, miniature. It's one of the name of the episodes. Huh, are they all poster cards here? From Agnes with Love. Um, Twilight Zone 2. So they're poster cards of all the episodes. I mean, that's cool having the poster cards of episodes, but let's see if all the other packs are the same. That's it, kind of a bit repetitive, I would think, in my opinion. It's where everything's poster card. Let's see here. Yeah, and this is all poster cards, it looks like. Nightmare at 20,000 feet. Very good episode with William Shatner. Okay. A um, little bit different there. Night Call. Kind of more of a shine to that one. That one's numbered 80 out of 150. So there is going to be some parallels in here. You know, to be honest, I am just not quite sure how I feel about these. That being every card's a poster card. I, I think it should have photo cards of the show and then maybe have two poster cards in each pack maybe, but not every card be a poster card for an episode. Some may like that. I don't think I'm, I obviously, I'm not a fan of it. Um, the Hunt, Stopover in Quiet Town, Living Doll, A Piano in the House. So yeah, I'm just, uh, excuse my dog, give me one second here, sorry everybody. All right, sorry for the barking there. Uh, dog's getting old. He's starting to bark at stuff he didn't used to bark at. Um, but anyway, that was just a half a second for you than it was for me. Um, on to the next pack. Um, guess we can call these the Twilight Zone 
poster cards set. Um, got black leather jackets. A world of difference. And looks like we got like a acetate type of card here. To serve man. Um, that one's tough to see. I don't have a filler card to kind of show how that looks here. Put that off to the side. Number 12 looks just like you. Printer's Devil. Now put in the comments, what do you think of these Twilight Zone cards? I'm uh, more towards not liking them. As I said earlier, it's cool to have poster cards, but every single card is a poster card. and Yeah, that's just not my thing here. You want to see photo cards of of the shows and let's intermix some poster cards in. A world of his own. Little Girl Lost. On to the next. Death Ship. Her change to dream. The incredible world of Horace Ford. I don't think I saw that episode. Still, long distance call. Yeah, the thing is, when you do the poster cards, then you just start to get repeat poster cards and just, I, I don't know. What's in the box? The Howling Man. We got another numbered here. Um, the Bard. This is 21 of 150. And Once Upon a Time, The Last Flight. Good episode there. On to the next. The Jungle. Persons or Persons Unknown. Good episode. Kind of a classic episode. The Bewitching Pool. 90 Years Without Slumbering. And static. Twilight Zone. Yeah, I don't think I'll be getting another box. This is one thing where, you know, unless you're actually doing it to sell them and make money, um, buying a case, you know, I, I, it's not something you'd want to buy a case to collect because you're probably going to collect most of the cards right in one box. Um, you'd be buying a case literally just to chase the autographs. Speaking of chase, the chaser. I dream of Genie. The Grave. Long live Walter Jameson. Spur of the Moment. Next pack. A penny for your thoughts. Nothing in the dark. And here's our first auto. This kind of sneaks up on you. Derek Lewis. They are, I believe they are all on card. This is not inscribed, so hopefully our next one will be inscribed. Congratulations. This limited edition card has been personally signed by Derek Lewis as Hellsman in the 30 Fathom Grave. So at least we know, being there's, what, 6,500 boxes, that there's less than 6,500 of those. So we'll set him off to the side. The Last Rites of Jeff Myrtlebank. 
Valley of the Shadow. So we got one more autograph to look for here. Uh, I'm not sure on the parallels. We've gotten two and a acetate type card. Just kick the can. Ring a dang girl. Young man's fancy. You drive. The new exhibit. Next pack. A nice place to visit. Shadow play. Oh, we got a character type card. Pamela Austin. And are these numbered? Not numbered. It says Pamela Austin earned the unique distinction of playing multiple roles in the same episode of The Twilight Zone. Number 12 looks just like you. Alright, well, character cards are cool. Now this is what I'm talking about. This is what I would hope a lot of this would be. Kind of some uh, photos from scenes and, you know, more, more of this. Not every card being a poster card. That's just my opinion. A lot of people out there may just love it, but when it's every card in every pack. Ugh. All right, we're halfway through. Let's continue on. Actually, maybe I'll speed it up and just open the, the rest of the packs and kind of go through it since this is kind of repetitive. A game of pool. Another character-esque card. If you want to read the back, you can pause that and check it out. Living Dolls. So you're starting to get the repeats now, and it's just, like I said, that can get pretty repetitive when it's just poster cards. It's like, ugh, come on. Put these off to the side, and I think what I am going to do is just kind of Open the pack up, packs up, and then just kind of go through them. If I can get it open there. Hopefully, it speeds it up a little bit. Because um, man, kind of a little bit disappointed in here. May I'll just try to find some older Twilight Zone cards and. Uh, see how those are if I can find some. I think I would rather see some photo. Especially being this is an archive set, so you, I don't know. Let's do this a little quicker here. Speed up the process. Now that we're starting to get a bunch of repeats of poster cards. Like you get poster cards like in Star Wars, you know, they still do the photos and then, you know, a poster card pops up every, you know, five, six packs. But I wouldn't even mind even on this one, even if they had one or two poster cards per pack. But every pack, every card with an occasional character card is a poster card, so... And obviously, we do not have a booklet in this box, unfortunately. All right, so let's just kind of breeze through these cards, since they're pretty much all going to be repeats at this point. Yeah, they're all doubles right now. This is a kind of a different looking character card here. Peter Mark Richmond as Trooper Robert Franklin in The Fear. 
not numbered. We should have another auto popping up any moment here. Here's another parallel card. Um, this is, where is everybody? That is 95 out of 150. The mute, see that, at least that one's a newer card. And here's our other auto, kind of sneaks up on you. And yes, it is inscribed. We got Jack Ding, Jing, and Car, car buyer in the episode, The Whole Truth. So that says car buyer there. So that's the that's our autos or our second auto. And I'll kind of rummage through this real quick. Death ship. More repeats, long distance call. And the encounter rounds it off. So that is the Twilight Zone Archives 2020. So, unfortunately, no, I'm not a fan. Um, and I hate having to buy another box to try to chase that booklet down, but it'd be fun to pull a Shatner autograph out of this. Um, but at the same time, oh, what was this? About 69 price point on there, $70 price point on there. Um, and they're all poster cards as I'm sorry, it's just disappointing. Um, but let's look at the highlights. We got, where is everybody? Uh, parallel. That one was 95 out of 150. Um, we have the Bard. And that was 21 of 150. We have an Acetate card. That is not numbered or anything. Um, it's probably one per box, I imagine. And then Night Call, which was 80 out of 150. And then, of course, our two autos. And pick them up without ruining them. We got uh, Derek Lewis and Jack Ging, Bing Jing. I'm not sure how they pronounce that, but um, there's our auto. So there we go. Um, I'm a bit disappointed with this. Let me know what you think of it. But nonetheless, thanks for watching, everybody. Talk to you later.